the Mashiach Yahushai. He is the image of the invisible power. He's that image. Okay. Nobody else. He's that image of the Most High. So we only have redemption through the Mashiach. That's it. So, and it's coming down to that. It's coming down to either we're going to have faith in the Mashiach and then nothing else, nothing else is going to work. Either you're going to have faith in the Mashiach or that's it, nothing else. So it's coming down to that in these last days. So that's why we got to behooves us to really be in Yahweh Okay, so we got all these other uh, religions and idols and, and brothers who think they're going to lead us to uh, the kingdom and so forth. No, it's only the Mashiach Yahweh Okay, so in the 16th verse, it says this, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning of the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. So it's the Mashiach Yahushai. So this is why Yahweh Shai has prevailed to open the seven seals. Okay, he prevailed to, remember, he's, he's going to give the understanding of the book of Revelation to his prophets, the servants, in these last days. But again, you must have the key, and that key is Daniel 9th chapter in the 24th verse. Understand? And that's going to be the uh, the key to opening that unlocked door of Revelation. So we have to understand that. So uh, in Revelation 18 and 3, it says this. Okay. In Revelation 18 and 3, it says, For all nations have drunk of the wine and the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth, okay, have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacy. So it's showing you that Yahweh Shai is going to come, and when he comes, all nations that have drunk of the, of the wine and the wrath of her fornication, meaning the fornication of this current society, the Roman Catholic Church, America, okay, Yahweh Shai is going to bring, he's going to bring wrath, okay, on this society, and Yahweh Shai is going to do it, and so when this, when these uh, seals are broken, and when they're broken, that's when you're going to see the wrath of the Most High in Yahweh Shai in these last days, that's when you're going to see it, so that's why it's high time for brothers to wake up and understand, it's coming, so uh, let's go to Acts 20 and 28. And it says this. Acts 20 and 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock. Okay, over the which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to feed the church of the Mosai, which he hath purchased with his own blood. So Yahweh Shai purchased the, the church, which is, of course, as you know, the congregation, which is Israel, the nation of Israel. The church is the nation of Israel. So he purchased us with his own blood. But, of course, the scripture said there's no redemption without bloodshed, which means what? Some of our people are not going to make it. There's going to be there's going to be bloodshed. So there's only going to be a remnant of our people to live it. Okay, but we must understand the ones of us that are delivered, we got to uh, be that model. We got to be that example that Yahweh Shai is talking about. This is what the Mosai wants. Because it's far too many of us that are, that are wicked as hell, that are, um, are backbiting, that are, uh, of course, dealing with their own lust and lasciviousness. They're murmuring. Uh, you got brothers who hate one another, they're envious one another. Okay, so all this got to stop. Jealousy of one another, all this got to stop. And so Yahweh Shai is not with that. Okay, Yahweh Shai is not for that. And so this is why we still are suffering the way we suffer. Okay, so now, uh, 
as we continue Revelation 5, it says this, and he has made us unto our power, the most high, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. So the most high is showing us that we're going to reign on the earth as kings and priests. And this is what the most high uh, prophesied to us during the time we were in the wilderness. And he showed Moses that we would be a nation of kings and priests. Okay, and this is uh, Revelation, uh, I'm sorry, Exodus 19 and 6. It says this, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and in the holy nation. These are the words which thou hast, uh, shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So, what is the most I've shown us? We're going to be a, a nation of priests. Okay, uh, the ability to administer the law, statute, commandments. Okay to not only one another, but also uh, to the nations, okay? And that's what, uh, that's what our duty is going to be, administer the commandments of the Most High to the nations, all right? So we're going to be a kingdom of priests, all right? And then it says, uh, Re uh, Revelation 5, 11, and I, uh, and I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. See how it distinguish who the elders are? from the uh, angels, showing you these, angel, these elders were uh, a specific uh, sect of brothers that the Most High is going to redeem from the earth, okay? We, I'm going to read, I'm going to go back to the ninth verse so you can understand. And they sing a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. Talk about Yahweh Shai. To open the seals thereof, for thou was slain and has redeemed us. These elders are saying you redeemed us to the most high by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nations. Okay, so the elders are saying, Yahweh Shai, you have redeemed us. I mean, the us is talking about not only the elders, but of course the whole nation of Israel out of every kindred, tongue, and people and nation. Because where are we scattered? Throughout all the nations and throughout every kindred and tongue. So Yahweh Shai has redeemed us. Okay, so the elders are saying this. These 24 elders are saying this to Yahweh Shai, okay, in this in the spiritual world. Okay, so this is what this is this is what taking place. And so um when you go to uh Revelation 4 and 4, it teaches you this about the 24 elders. Okay, uh it says in the fourth verse. Revelation 4 and 4, and round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting. So why does the Most High distinguish that these are elders, but everybody else up there in the spiritual world are angels? Why does the Most High do that? Okay, meaning these elders, elders is an earthly term. Okay given to uh, certain men in the temple and, and, and priestly men in the temple, the elders, okay? So why would the uh, Yahweh Shai distinguish the angels from the elders and the el elders from the angels? Because these elders were men who were redeemed from the earth and taken up into the spiritual world, okay, to sit by the throne of the Most High in, in Yahweh Shai. Okay, I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. See, so they were they were sanctified, they, they were pure, they were clothed in white raiment. Whoever these men are, we know they're Israelites, so whoever these men are, they're gonna be clothed in white raiment and they're gonna be given the title of eldership. Okay, by Yahweh now. And they had on their heads crowns of gold. Now what does the elder need? What does the angel need with a crown on his head for? Showing you these cannot be angels, because the angels don't need crowns of gold on their head. They're already up there in the spiritual world. They're in the heavens already. They don't need crowns of gold. A crown is only given to men who are on the earth. Okay, a crown is only given to men who are on the earth, and who and that's like giving a, a special reward of a man. To, to be able to rule, a crown. So Yahweh Shai has given these 24 elders crowns of gold. 
meaning they're purified and sanctified and they're worthy to receive this, this crown. Okay. Then it says, um, okay. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of the most High. Okay. So those are the seven uh, angels, seven archangels. So showing you that the elders are different. These seven el these 24 elders were different from the archangel, from the angels in the spiritual world. But nonetheless, these elders are up there by the throne of the Most High during, during this time. And they're going to witness Yahawashai being able to prevail to open the seven seals thereof. They're going to witness that. Okay. And so this is why they say Yahawashai has redeemed us uh, to the most high by, by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people, okay, in, in the earth, okay, and nation, okay, so they're going to witness that, and uh, we go to uh, Ephesians, Ephesians says this, uh, okay, Ephesians 1 and uh, 3, it says, blessed be Yahweh and father of our power, Yahweh Shai, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai. See? So in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai. So spiritual blessings in heavenly places. As we know, Yahweh Shai taught us what? That in my father's house, there are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. So showing you that some, some, they're going to be some brothers, they're going to be given a special crown, and they're going to be taken uh, to the spiritual world. We know the 144,000 also are going to be given that special, uh, uh, special authority, and going to have special powers, and that special crown. And they're going to be dressed in white also. Understand? So these are 20, but these are the 24 elders, but we know the 24 elders. Uh, then you're going to have um, uh, the 144,000. See, so they all going to be given that special blessing as in heavenly places uh, from the Most High and Yahweh Shai. Okay, according as He hath chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world. So, uh, whoever the, these twenty-four elders are, they were chosen before the foundation of the world. Okay, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. And so now, of course. You're talking about uh, the whole nation of Israel, a holy nation. So he said he's going to make us a, a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. Okay, this is, this is what we should be striving for, to be a holy nation. Okay. Um, then it says, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children. So who is the one that's going to be adopted? Who are the, who's the adoption given to? Okay, the nation of Israel. This is why uh, Paul was, was saying that um, in uh, Romans 9. Paul said this, right? Romans 9 and 3. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Yahweh Shai for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So wh who is Paul? Paul was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. So who are his people according to the flesh, his kinsmen? The fourth verse, who are Israelites, okay, which we know the so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican, who are Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption, see, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of the Most High and the promises. So again, Ephesians uh, mm -hmm. first chapter and fifth verse again having predestinated us unto us the adoption. See, again, the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai to himself. Why? Because Yahweh Shai said he purchased us by his blood. He redeemed us. Redeem means to buy back. So Yahweh Shai has basically brought us back when he died on the cross for the nation of Israel. Okay, gave himself up on the cross for the nation of Israel. He, by his blood, he purchased us back. And so now, we're able to be redeemed in Hamashiach Yahushai. Okay, so that's what that's talking about. We're able to be redeemed. Okay, uh, 
then it says, uh, according to the good pleasure of his will. And that's the will of the Most High, that his chosen, the 12 tribes of Israel, be redeemed in Yahweh okay, and be forgiven of sins. Okay, sixth verse, it says, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the, in the beloved. See, so to the praise and the glory of his grace. So by the grace, okay, of the Most High in Yahweh Shai, uh, by the Most High's graces, the nation of Israel can be forgiven of sins. Only through grace. That's it. Okay. In whom, the seventh verse, in whom we have redemption through his blood. So there it goes again. We have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of of his grace, okay? So that's in Hamashiach Yahweh the one who has prevailed to open uh, the books thereof. And then we go back to Revelation 5. It says this again, uh, Revelation 5, 11. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne and the beasts and the elders. Again, see, so why is it distinguished uh, the angels, the beasts, which we know are the four beasts, okay, which were like uh, caretakers of, of the throne. They were like protectors of the throne, okay, guardians of the throne, let's say, these four beasts, okay. And then it says, and the elders. So it distinguishes who these uh, three uh, entities are. You got the angels, the beasts, and the uh, elders, okay. So these elders showing you. Uh, were men, redeemed men from the earth, taken to the spiritual world, taken to the throne. Okay, and they're known as the 24 elders. Okay, and the number of them was now the number of the angels that were round about the throne were 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands and thousands, meaning uh, you multiply it by thousands, you got millions and millions of angels. Okay, more angels than people on the earth. Okay, so this is what John is seeing in the vision. The 12th verse, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb. Okay, and so you can understand how do we know who the lamb is? Uh, when you go to John, I believe it's John 1, 29. John 1, 29 says this, the next day John seeth, talking about John the Baptist, seeth Yahweh coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of the Most High, which taketh away the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, uh, After me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, talking about the Mashiach Yahweh Okay, so as we continue in Revelation 5, okay, uh, 5 and 12, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. See, Yahweh shot. Okay. And the four beasts said, Amen. They said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders. See, again, it's distinguishing who these men are. The four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worship him that liveth forever and ever. Okay, so that's Revelation 5th chapter. So as we can see, uh, only Hamashiach Yahweh has prevailed uh, to open the seven seals uh, of the book of Revelation. And so you can understand the seven seals are not opened yet. Even though you have all these plagues and pestilences and everything happening, earthquakes and famine, famine and so forth all over the earth, and chaos and confusion, all right, all over the earth. The scripture says, but what? The end is not yet. It's coming. He says, even at the door. When you see, when you see these things happening, he said, even know that it's even at the door. 
but it's not yet. Okay. So with that, I want to say uh, shalom. So all praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, shalom. And um, uh, if you want to uh, purchase a book, you can go to Barak Banya Sha'ala on Facebook. Okay. Or uh, you can email me, Barak uh, KD, KDL1, Barak KDL1 at yahoo.com. You can email me and then let me know that you want a book. And uh, they're, they're $25, okay, a piece. Okay, a lot of work went into these books, okay. All right, Revelation Revealed and, of course, the uh, 70 weeks, okay. So um, with that, I just want to say shalom, okay. Yahweh Baha Sham Yahweh Shah Brakatham Shalom. All right.